You know what I can't stand about the Detroit sports fans, the majority of them, like last night, when Andre Drummond, Matthew Safford, etc., blah, say, blah, have a good game. See, I told you, I told you, I told you Matthew Stafford was the truth. I told you Andre Drummond was the truth. And it don't be a playoff game or a meaningful game. It's just a game. And then sometimes they come in off the wrong, uh, the shit end of the stick and lose. But we back, Marcy Sports Talk, about to hit y'all with a quick two-piece. Hopefully later I can get to a preview to Embiid and Drummond, Sixers and Pistons, and um, react to the game way later on, okay? All right, Drummond had a good game, 27-19 yesterday. I didn't catch it. I caught the highlights. I was watching the Lions and and Cowboys and Eagles and a lot of the games on for NFL. My boy, Patrick Mahomes, boy, MVP, watching the Ravens game as well. And it's a uh, Chiefs game, a real good game yesterday, my favorite game yesterday. But that's here nor there. People come out of hiding and say, oh, see, see, see what Drummond did? I thought, you know, Drummond didn't, don't, I thought Drummond didn't perform well versus other elite big men. Let me let you know on, on something. Andy Davis was hobbled last, last night with a hip injury. He always injured, so that's not the excuse. But I've seen Christoph Przingis put 40 fucking points on uh, Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. I've seen other big men get off on Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is not this elite defending big man for New Orleans Pelicans, as they seem. See, numbers lie. Commentators lie. Your eyes don't lie when you're being honest, okay? Andre Drum Drummond, I'm not shocked that he got 20 and 20, even on a, hen a healthy Anthony Davis. You know, Anthony Davis has been... You know, not that good of a defender this year. You know, he's more, period. He's just a help side defender. You know what I'm saying? But that's one game we still lost. Okay? That's one game out of this whole week from Sunday to Saturday. Because Sunday is the beginning of a new week. From Sunday to Saturday, we'll see what he do tonight. It's about consistency. It ain't about, oh, let's praise Drummond and act like he the king of the town because he had one good regular season game. He getting paid, what, a hundred some million dollars. He posed to consistently have good game after good game after good game. Okay. And bad games gonna come here and there. But let, let's keep it real. Okay. Go pause the video after this question and answer the conversation. Does drum is drumming consistent? Does he have good game after good game and then a bad game here, then good game, then good game? Or is it bad game, bad game, bad game? Good game, okay game, bad game, another good game. Which which one is it? Is he consistent or inconsistent? He's very inconsistent. He supposed to be showing up somewhat like Blake Griffin. Every night, Blake Griffin brings it. And yeah, Blake Griffin have a bad night. But we're not going to sit here and praise Andre Drummond in a loss because he had a good stat line. Okay? We're not going to do that, right? We're not going to hop on Twitter and, oh, so much for Drummond not, not playing good versus other big guys. Go look. Other big guys have torched Anthony Davis over the years. Okay, and he still lost. Still lost. Still lost. So one game out of 82 games, or how many games they played so far, we're going to act like Drummond is the fit. Throw that bullshit aside, man. We all know Drummond is overrated and overpaid. Okay? Detroit, to the, to the thought, loves their athletes, no matter how inconsistent or how consistent they are. Okay? I'm going to give it to you like we eat sushi. Raw, in the words of the great Floyd Mayweather. Okay, I if Andre Drummond have a good stretch of basketball, I would trade him because you know he's mentally weak, he's mentally soft, he ain't the heart of the paint, he ain't the heart of the team. Then you got Blake Griffin, who has a reputation for being soft across the league. You need a cap pillar in the middle of the defense. If you're gonna pay somebody a hundred million dollars, you need a Ben Wallace in the middle of your defense. You need a Shaquille O'Neal, a Ewing, a Morning. A Hakeem Olajuwon, you paying that type of money. And Andre Drummond, I'm just talking from a defensive standpoint, will never be that. Never. Not never. Not never. He's soft, man. And he's not consistent. He ain't consistent with getting 20 rebounds. He ain't consistent with his post game. He ain't consistent with his jump shot. He ain't a consistent rim defender. Then what are we paying him for? When you go up against Al Horford, that should be a 30-20 night every time. When you go play Deadman and Alex Lee in Atlanta, that should be 30-20 every time. When you play Embiid, come on, at least give me 20 and 10, big fella. But I know I'm a hater, I'm a hater, I'm a hater. But I'm just going to speak the truth. You know? And people keep talking about his potential. Potential get people fired. If he ain't reaching potential by now, it ain't going to happen. But Motor City Sports, so I'll come back with another video, man.
Salute to uh, who's supporting the page, man. Appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Want to make a donation to the channel? Appreciate that as well. Uh, also, you can reach out to me email for video requests. Or you can reach out to me on one of the social media platforms. One time for the one time. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Uh, over 2,000. We working. Y'all know what the business is. Mercy Sports Talk. We on.